For those uh, of us who are not familiar with Anthem Lights, tell us about you guys. How did you get your start? What type of music do you sing? We sing all kinds of music. We are a vocal group of uh, four male vocalists who uh, do a lot of harmonized reimaginations of beloved songs, uh, you know, Christian songs, pop songs, rock songs, country songs, you name it, we have done it uh, for about 10 years now. We live in Nashville and just uh, love creating music together. Now, so many of you have a background in the church. I know some of you are pastor's kids. I'm a pastor's kid. Talk about how your background in the faith community informs the music that you sing. Well, I actually grew up uh, playing music in church. I learned how to play music uh, with my youth group band back in the day. So pretty much everything I do with music um, is tied back to my upbringing in the church. And I have such fond memories of those times. And I attribute, attribute a lot of what I know about music and singing and this whole thing to, to those days. Yeah, I love that. Now, talk a little bit about how Anthem Lights formed. How did you guys meet each other? How did you become this insanely talented band? <laughs> well, <laughs> it's, it's a long story that I'll make short, but it started when I was pursuing a solo music project and um, I was in LA working with a producer. And I'm always like kind of touching on what you just asked. I grew up on the 90s Christian music. I love like the four hymns, you know, Point of Grace. This was my, that was my first concert ever. And so I'm always in my head, like I wanted to be in a vocal group. I've always wanted other voices with me. And so we thought that the music I was doing would be really cool as a group. So uh, we went to Liberty University, which is where I went to school and met Caleb and met a former member. And, um, and we made it Anthem Lights. And then my, my friend, Alan, who I basically grew up with from my same church was also a part of it. And that's when we, you know, formed. And then we signed a label here in Nashville. And so it became really official then. And then along the way, a member left and Joey joined along and uh, he feels like he's an OG member, um, but uh, he joined and brought a whole different element to the band. And then later, Alan left the band and then we found Spencer and uh, voila, here we are. <laughs> Talking to you about a cartoon. Yeah, yeah. Have You guys cover so many different artists, Christian, non-Christian, like you said, have you heard from any of the artists that, that you cover? Have they responded to hearing their songs? Uh, yeah, we've had a we've had a few of those over the years, um, random retweets, shares on Facebook. But I think one of the coolest ones we did a Backstreet Boys uh, medley, and um, which member again was it that shared AJ? AJ? Yeah, at the beginning, gave us a little shout out, just like, "Hey, what's up? It's AJ from Backstreet Boys, and you're watching like Anthem Lights cover of our songs <laughs> or whatever." He said through that at the beginning, right? Anyway, so it, that was one of the cooler moments, and they tweeted it out from their page and everything like that. So uh, anytime that pops up or happens, it's like a little cool moment of, you know, old idols turned into, you know, someone who's sharing your, your, your music. Yeah. So cool. Now you guys are in a tough industry and you've lost a record deal. You guys have experienced some hardship. How do you keep your passion and determination alive? Wow. That's a good question. I, I think always just maintaining what the, what the reason is for doing it. I think, you know, we're, we're all married men now and a couple of us have children and, you know, we are, are passionate about music yes but also using our musical abilities to to make a living to provide for the ones that we love like that is the gift in all of it you know and to somehow make a splash make an impact on the world and encourage people like that's the point um and so obviously with anything worth doing is going to come challenges and, and difficulties and so you just gotta keep going and overcome those things and things that so far have worked out okay well, your story is so inspiring and your music really is just, it makes you feel good. It, it, it's uplifting. What type of response have you heard from younger fans, especially? How is your music impacting lives? Uh, yeah, no, I mean, it, it's cool because we, before the pandemic, we would do shows and we get a little more like face-to-face -face time with fans that would come through our lines. And uh, to see the variety of people that would actually come out to our shows and talk about what our music has or hasn't done in their life has been has been really cool. We've had grandchildren and parents of those kids and then even their grandparents and all just coming through the line sharing why they've played their music for their family. It's gotten them through tough times in college, gotten them through tough times in their marriage and through school, whatever, whatever the circumstance is, being able to see the direct impact of our music with some people uh, face to face really kind of puts it in perspective and gives you a healthy reminder of why we're doing this in the first place, which is like what Caleb said to uplift 
encourage and just you know help people feel known and uh, but at the same time just give some good entertainment and some uh, fresh ideas on some new songs that you you've loved on in the past yeah I love that now tell us about your new animated series what can we expect from this well our new animated series it is a show about anthem lights <laughs> it's called a show about anthem lights and you can expect a lot of fun a lot of ridiculous songs that are a blast to record you can expect an inside look at the daily struggles of being in a boy band <laughs> like uh you know maybe not having enough hair products <laughs> Or maybe Spencer and I get in an argument about who's most fashionable. You know, normal boy no. <laughs> Um, And you can expect to feel light after watching it. Mm -hmm. How does how does being having having families of your own? How does that impact um, what you create, the music that you sing, the shows that you're in? Uh, but you know, having kids like. I, there's been many times when I walk in and they're watching a show that you know, we put on YouTube Kids or whatever, and then an advertisement will pop up be geared towards children and I'll be like what are, what is happening like you know so that is motivating to me as a father of littles to, to create content that is safe and fun for, for everybody you know that there's no concern that something's not going to be appropriate and um, you know we've always str strived as a band to create content that is clean you know and wholesome because we love that kind of like you Spencer touched on earlier there's a timelessness I think to our music where kids can enjoy it and grandma and grandpas can enjoy it. And it just sort of like has this, uh, you know, effect on people of all ages, which I think we love. We love hearing that feedback. And so everything we try to touch, every time, everything we try to create, hopefully we keep that, you know, in perspective. Yeah. So what is next for you guys besides this, this animated series? And of course, you guys are always putting out incredible music, but what's next? Good question. Let's talk about language. And <laughs> Oh, yeah. No, we we uh so we've been doing a lot of uh introspection. Is that the word? I don't, I don't know the right the self-reflecting, looking at what the band should be going forward. <laughs> Obviously, this animated show is a complete step in a new direction. We've never explored that before. So we we were kind of excited for that and letting that live for a second. But we've we've been looking at stuff, COVID hit, and that changed things for us as well. And so as we're stepping into the new season of the band, um, we saw original music did really well the last few years. And so Joey and I have been writing a lot more, uh, which is not the identity of Anthem Lights. You guys are, people know us for medleys and covers and um, doing their, their, your favorite songs. That's like what we've done. So now being able to just try and switch that a little bit and say stuff that I feel like represents the four of us and where we're at in our lives and uh, kind of give the fan base another route to get to know us better. Honestly, the animated show is a good step forward because we're goofy, we're funny, but the original music kind of speaks on a different language, pardon the pun. That's the new original song coming out this Friday. And uh, yeah, I'm excited for people to get to know us a little more through that avenue of music and, and industry as well. 